call ourselves roosters, which was synonymous with uh, ayam, whole guy. So, gai zai. What's up guys, it's your boy Spikes. Welcome to Summer Talk. Today we are at the Coop, one of the privately owned basketball facilities in KK City. So if you watch our Summer Ball episode 4, the team that challenged us was the Rooster Basketball Academy team. Today we are here to interview their coach. So without further ado, let's bring him up in. So what's up, Su Chong? So uh, firstly, I would like to thank you for letting us interview you today and also for challenging us in the fourth episode of Summer Ball. But before we get into the questions, can you please introduce yourself to our audiences? What's up, my man? Uh, MC Spikes, right? Thank you for inviting me uh, to be on this show. I'm super honoured to be a part of this. I'm Su Chung. I've been back in Malaysia since 2011. I'm currently now a basketball coach amongst other things. I'm also the co-founder of uh, Roosters Basketball Club, which was established in 2017. Why the name Rooster? Uh -huh. that, that's going to be a funny story. When we first started, we were a group of creatives. We have photographers, we have videographers, we have printers, designers as well. A lot of us were not very good at basketball. Uh, we decided to call ourselves Roosters, which was synonymous with uh, ayam mm -hmm. or hokai. So, Tai Tai, but of course you don't want to have a name that's so weak, right? So, we decided to have some kind of uh, aggressive name, so we decided on Roosters, right? The vision of Roosters Basketball Club, initially it was to have our members to have fun, play basketball regularly, doesn't matter where it was. We started playing at a church, but then they started wanting to play full court, so we booked a basketball court with our local council. It got so big that we have 100 members, had to book a lot more. But of course, it's a community centre. We have to share it around with different people in the community. We envisioned to have our own court, but it took us about three years to realise that dream. Yeah. I was there as well mm -hmm. when we lined up just to book court for oh, yeah. the council. And the earliest time that we had to reach four in the morning, sometimes even three in the morning, I remember. That was your earliest? That was my earliest. <laughs> Now, it got crazy where people were coming the night before. During public holidays, the day before, we were there 3 p.m. in the afternoon, sometimes 1 p.m. in the afternoon. It was really crazy. We really had to think about, uh, you know, having our own training centre. Yeah. What was your biggest challenge while founding Roosters Basketball Club? There was not much of a challenge because we started off as a small group, right? We, we didn't think it was going to be so big. I think when you came in, it would be a, the second generation already. A lot of them want to play basketball uh, more. That's when the challenge started, the court booking. The next challenge was getting the club officially registered as a club. We had to go through a lot of uh, the protocol, regulations, uh, understanding the Sports Development Act. The biggest challenge is getting everyone on board. Mm -hmm. When we first started, we had 20 people. At the moment, we have 150. We don't limit any amount of uh, members. We have juniors, we have uh, adults as well. We have women, so we don't, we don't actually discriminate any or age sex, or sex or, yeah, or gender. Uh, yeah. So anyone is welcome to join us. Yeah. For coaching courses, uh, I have the Malaysian Basketball Association license. I also hold um, the USA Basketball Coaching License. I also hold a Nike Sports Camp Coaching License. The Nike Sports Camp is actually a coaching certificate. So that allowed me to uh, be an uh, official coach uh, down here in Malaysia. I was able to coach at a basketball camp in, uh, in America. Last year, I was in uh, Iowa in a town called Waverly. It was a Div Division III um, college. A summer camp was held over four weeks in, uh, in that place. Uh, I was invited to coach two weeks out of that four weeks. I wanted that experience to, to try and learn more about teaching. How do coaches communicate over there? How we can use that knowledge over here to inspire the younger generation. Not just better players, but better teammates, better people, a better human being. Yeah. Why well, I call it the coop? As you see, it's all fenced up. Yeah. The coop is uh, the home of the, for the chickens, right? So roosters, right? Come home to roost at the coop. The, the coop is where you can feel safe as a roosters basketball club member. You can come here to train, uh, not just for basketball, your strength training as well. 
Okay, let me share with you the philosophy of Rooster's Basketball Academy, something called the EDGE philosophy, E-D-G-E. -E. The first E stands for empowerment. Uh, we want to empower our students uh, with skills and also knowledge uh, that they can use in not just in basketball but in life as well. Then we develop those skills that we teach them. Um, we've done workshops for them on basketball courts and also in the classroom where we have a motivational speaker to come speak to them, uh, teaching them about the winning mindset. And we have other programs that will be coming up in future as well. With the G, it stands for guidance. Right? With, the, with empowerment, with the development, we have to guide them to, to reach their goals. After that, they have to excel. All right? We want them to be excellent in whatever they do, whether it's in life, in their basketball, in school, and, um, or just be in the community. So we're creating, we're developing leaders out of, uh, you know, out of our programs as well. The coop it may, may not be the best in the world, but we're working towards that. We're always uh, implementing new equipment or new uh, techniques um, to, to try to facilitate for, with, with the development of basketball in Samba itself as well. So we are also the training grounds for the Sukma um, Samba girls team. Um, also, we've also extended to the, the men's team as well. Uh, but at the moment, the women's has been starting uh, training since September. How do you think the Roosters Basketball Academy can really impact the basketball scene in KK? Mm -hmm. As a coach, uh, number one, I would hope to impact um, a lot of lives. Um, so I'm very aware of being a good role model for the students uh, because parents entrust their children to, to, into our academy and we want to make sure that we give them the best guidance, we, we show them the, the right way to do things um, and we want to be the best um, figure to these kids you know, when, they are, when they are spending their time here. Currently we provide um, hoop uh, rental, we also provide court rental, uh, gym rental and uh, coaching services as well. But in future, uh, coming in October, due to the COVID delay, uh, we were supposed to have our shooting basketball shooting machine, which is the Dr. Dish basket, basketball shooting machine, which most of you would have seen on Facebook, in yeah. IG over the past few years. And that's coming to KK. We've got two, two units coming in. Mm. So actually people can actually start training their shooting. Yeah, definitely. Just alone, you know, just with yeah. the machine where it will pass you the ball and you can just you know, that's right. train. That's right. Never thought that this would actually happen in KK, which is very impressive. Thank you, thank you. With Summer Ball, I'm very excited with your, your initiative, um, both uh, yourself and Johan. And uh, this, this idea is, is great to promote basketball to the younger generation, okay? It, it's a great way to connect with them and show them, you know, there's, there's more things outside of, uh, you know, their, their normal stuff. So hopefully it'll inspire them to pick up the, the game or just be interested in sports as, as, a, as a general, right? It's also uh, great to have um, current uh, idols or athletes that are, that are quite prominent here in KK or in Sabah itself to head this this show for the first time. If we decide to shoot a season two, mm. would you let your players to actually be our summer ballers? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we are actually hoping that our players go a little bit higher in their next level. Hoping two of our kids can actually make it into the state team. They really need to put in the work before I can recommend them. So guys, if you have watched our last episode of Summer Ball, you probably know that our youngest challenger was only 12 years old and his name was Ashton. So he actually challenged one of our Summer Ball players to a one-on-one -on -one match. It was a race to 11 game. So if you guys want to know how it turned out, keep watching.
game over. Um, hype in a coaching world is actually a very superficial term, right? Uh, it's mostly on the surface, right? Yeah. We, we see, you see a lot of um, footages like Ball is Life, uh, Overtime, or uh, a lot of those highlight clips. Those are hype in um, America. They are looking for more of the essence underneath the hype. Is this player competitive? Uh, those are one of the main questions that uh, coaches ask when recruiting. They'll look at you know whether they execute their plays fundamentally sound. Do they engage their teammates? Are they great communicators? Of course, whether they can make shots. For Asian um, players like us, we know that we lack height, so we really need to be skilled in our shooting. We have to be great hustle players. Uh, really dive for loose balls, finding the right places to rebound the ball, defend better than anyone else. We actually have a dream. We want to play in the ABL, the ASEAN Basketball League. That's going to be a long journey for us. Okay, So that's why we had to have our facility, have our networks widen. Um, so that's why I went coaching overseas, um, meet a lot of coaches from other places, create that network and get more advice on how we can achieve those dreams. Yeah. You can get in touch with our academy via our Facebook page, which will be shown here, I think. Yeah. And or you can personally call my number at this number. <laughs> so Sushong, thank you very much for doing this interview with us today. No worries, and man. For all of you who want to improve your basketball game, you can contact Roosters as the infos are all down here. And uh, that is all from us today. Summer, Summer every day. Peace out. out.